Hello everyone, this is Deborah Jason speaking to you today on the Schweike Media Weekly Expert Webinar Series. Today, we're going to talk about, do your headlines go ka -ching? This is an excerpt from Chapter 18 of my award-winning book, Millionaire Marketing on a Shoestring Budget. Joe Vitale, author of Hypnotic Writing, said, what sells? What motivates people to take action are words. After all, you can't have marketing materials, whether it's a direct mail message, a video sales letter, or a website without the words. Can you? When you're writing copy, you have a scant one to three seconds to catch a prospect's attention online and approximately five seconds if you're sending out a direct mail piece. Therefore, your goal is to catch your prospect's attention long enough for him or her to decide to continue reading all of your content. My mentor, Eugene Schwartz, was a veteran direct response copywriter, and he was admired by many of the industry. That's a picture of him right there, and in his book, Breakthrough Advertising, he wrote, your headline has only one job, and that is to stop your prospect and compel him or her to read the second sentence of your ad. And then there's the advertising guru, David Ogilvy, who said, on the average, five times as many people read the headlines as read the body copy. So today I'm going to share with you the first six of 12 pointers for creating rock-solid headlines that grab attention. And pointer number one is ask a question in your headline. So for example, with one in two people getting osteoarthritis in their lifetime, can you afford to ignore your joints? A classic headline that was used in Psychology Today magazine was, do you close the bathroom door even when you're the only one at home? So those are examples of asking a question. So here's some food for thought. What's one question that comes to mind for you? A question that you can use for your headline. I'd like you to write it down now while it's fresh in your mind. We'll move on now to pointer number two, and that is give good news. News and use such words as introducing, announcing, now available, or new. And the example here is announcing 10 remarkable ways to stay in shape without exercising daily. Another example would be now available. A new report reveals three ways to find lasting love after you've kissed your ex goodbye. Here's pointer number three. Address your prospect's concerns. This type of headline helps you push your prospect's buttons so that while they're reading your content, they're thinking, yes, yes, I need this, I want this, I have to have it. So for example, in 2008 and 2009, people had real concerns about the value of their real estate. And this headline addressed those concerns. It said, facing foreclosure, here are three questions to ask your lender before they take your home away from you. Another one is, need money now? Here are 10 legitimate ways to make a quick buck. Pointer number four, promise something wonderful, but do not lie. You'll lose more customers than you gain that way and bad news travels fast. Plus, in this day and age, being honest is top of mind to consumers. It builds trust and people respect you when you are genuine. So for instance, the headline, 10 legitimate ways to make a quick buck? It better deliver 10 ways 
10 sincere and honest ways that prospects can take advantage of. Marketing strategist Jim Connolly put it this way, using sensational headlines to get people to open emails or read content is a super fast way to lose the trust and respect of your marketplace. I agree with him, don't you? Pointer number five is be specific. This well-known Rolls-Royce headline came from David Ogilvy, and it did the job. It said, at 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise in this new Rolls-Royce comes from the electric clock. Pointer number six, give your reader a command. Tell him or her to do something. So in this example, it says, go ahead, throw away this free offer. Remember, today's content is an excerpt from Chapter 18 of the award-winning book, Millionaire Marketing on a Shoestring Budget. Purchase yours at millionairemarketingonashoestringbudget.com, and I'll send you an autographed copy. As creative entrepreneurs and business owners, one of the most important tools you have in offering your programs and services is the copy you use to communicate your messages. What we covered today are the first six tips for creating rock-solid headlines to help you grab your prospect's attention. And the next webinar that follows will conclude with another six pointers to help you accelerate your headline writing skills. My name is Deborah Jason, and I'm a speaker, author, trainer, direct response copywriter, and multifaceted marketing mentor. Marketing and writing with heart, not hype. I speak about the value of building relationships and the art of engagement as they apply to helping you increase your visibility, attract a steady stream of happy clients, and live your dream. I invite you to get your copy of the free report the secret to connecting and engaging with your prospects. You'll find it on my website at rightdirection.com. That's W-R-I-T-E, like writing with a pen, rightdirection.com. Please feel free to sign up for my newsletter, connect with me on LinkedIn, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, or Twitter. And if I can help you in any way, please reach out and contact me. I'll help you head in the right direction. On behalf of the Schweiki Media Weekly Expert Webinar Series, I thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us for this session. And I'll look forward to seeing you again on another webinar in the near future. In the meantime, have a heartwarming day, and here's to your sweet success. Remember, now is the time to let your light shine. Thanks a million.